How come we stay, Dad? Yeah. Detroit. Son, lion don't leave the Serengeti. I besides, it's gonna be our year, I can feel it. What interested me really is when I started to hear about the father-son relationship and a family trying to survive abject poverty in the face of a lack of choice, a lack of options. And, you know, I was new to living in America and it was like, it started to feel when I was talking to him, certainly, that, you know, there's this lot, lot, the father really believed in the promise of America and this time next year we could be rich, we could turn our fortunes around and if we do the right thing, it will come good. But there was like this, it feels like there was a bit of a lie, like, you know, when you're born into abject poverty, you can't really transcend your lot, your lot in life, not with, the, not with the, the options they were facing, the choices, the lack of choices they had. Worst father ever. I'm not gonna let you ruin your life, Don. No drugs in the house. <laughs> when I spoke to him, to the real Rick, the thing that hooked me in was the dynamic, the relationship with him and his father and his sister. And then the relationship with the Curries and, you know, the local, uh, the local community. He was completely embedded and they were like an extension of his family. And it, I saw an opportunity to draw a parallel between the Worshies and the Curries. Like, here are two families trying to, trying to survive uh, a landscape with a lack of choice. I mean, this was the American dream city, Detroit. Y'all know who my dad is, right? Y'all know what he saw? Hey, I know your broke ass daddy. <laughs> what you said your name was? Rick. Hey, white boy Rick. When I told him I found this kid from Baltimore, born into arguably abject poverty, you know, broken home, difficult circumstances, never done it before. 15 years old, had, had never even done a drama class, was failing at school, was gonna get thrown out. And when I told him about his background, and very similar, he was facing a very similar trajectory to the real Rick, and he was like, he was amazed. He was like, if, if my life can somehow, if anything, if the one good thing that comes out of this is that my life somehow has changed the trajectory of this kid, that's amazing. And he was very emotional and heartfelt when he said that, and that was kinda, that was a moment. Look at this, Dad. Look how we're living. Let's hustle big. I know the players, and I know the game. Now come on, Dad. I can do this. And we can do this. When I screen tested him with the kid, from the word go, he took he took he took Rick Richie under his arm, under his wing. You know, he really nurtured him, looked after him. Not too paternal, you know, just like like not not patronizing that respect, just giving them guidance and making them feel confident, comfortable. Whoa! Whoa! Shit. Hey. What? You all got him? 